Hi everybody, I'm Melissa. Welcome back to Cloud Mom, week 29 of my pregnancy, of your pregnancy. Such a delight to be back here with you guys. Let's take a look at week 29. At week 29, your baby weighs 2.5 pounds and is about 15.5 inches long. He or she is about the size of an acorn squash. Remember in week 19, we talked about the brown fat that the baby is growing to regulate their body temperature? Well, now it's time for the white baby fat to develop. Your baby's wrinkly skin will start to smooth out as the white fat fills it up. White fat is essential in providing your baby with energy as well as those cute chubby cheeks that we'll all be looking at in just a few weeks time. With the newfound energy that he or she is getting from the white fat, your baby might start to get a lot more energetic. Although the room in the uterus is getting smaller, so there's less room for the baby to move around and to kick. So you might be feeling a little bit less movement than you did during prior weeks. Let's talk about some symptoms. You might be having tender, sore breasts. Your breasts are literally getting ready to breastfeed. This has been going on for a while. I've noticed it. They feel heavier. They feel more sore. They just feel sort of the shape seems to be changing a bit. This is all totally normal. It's just part of the process of getting ready for the baby. UTIs or urinary tract infections are very common at this point. If you feel pain when you urinate or you feel uncomfortable, like you have to frequently urinate, definitely go see a doctor so that he or she can prescribe a pregnancy safe antibiotic and you can get rid of this UTI. Your uterus is actually preventing your bladder from emptying fully. So make sure when you do feel the urge that you go to the bathroom right away, no matter how frequently that is, and try to make sure you get everything out that you can. Diet, our same favorite rules, no alcohol, no stuffed cheeses, no raw fish, no sushi, lots of omega-3s, folic acid, calcium, iodine, protein, vitamin D, and B12. In terms of doctor's appointments, your 32-week appointment is getting close. Make sure that's scheduled. Your doctor might be encouraging you to have a biophysical profile. I spoke about that during week 26. Your doctor might be offering a contraction stress test. I talked about that during week 28. Your doctor might be offering a non-stress test, which I also discussed during week 28. Your doctor also might be encouraging you to have a Tdap vaccination, which I also discussed during week 27. A couple of quick notes about preterm labor. 12% of pregnancies end before week 37. Preterm labor is not ideal. You want your little bun in the oven for as long as possible so that all the milestones for health and development can take place in utero. That is the safest thing. If your doctor is concerned about your susceptibility to preterm labor, he might offer you a fetal fibronectin test. This test measures the amount of fetal fibronectin in the cervix. He also might go over with you what are some of the signs and factors that could lead you to believe that you're close to having preterm labor. So there's a lot that goes on with this whole thing. I had it with all of my five babies. I was actually hospitalized with the first baby at 32 weeks because I almost went into labor and he ended up making it through till week 37 and a half. So you really never know what's gonna happen. But if you are exhibiting signs of preterm labor, your doctor in all likelihood is gonna be completely on top of this and you should be as well. Exercise, still the same with me, not too exciting. Very gentle swimming, very gentle walking. I actually got on the pre-core this week I did it twice, level eight. I used to do level 14. So this is like a whole other world, very light. I think my heart rate got slightly up. I was able to do it the first time, 20 minutes, second time, 25, just like trying to sort of keep things moving, trying to tread water. And I did a prenatal yoga class online. Here's the week 29 pregnant belly. I'm feeling it, ladies and gents. I'm feeling like I'm getting out there. I actually feel like I'm bigger than I was during my prior pregnancies. Here's a checklist for week 29 of your pregnancy. First of all, think about making a playlist for labor. Keep exercising. Confirm your week 32 prenatal appointment. Practice meditation or some relaxation techniques. That's really gonna help you during the third trimester. And it's gonna help you once the baby comes if you have the space and quiet to do that. Tour daycares, interview potential nannies, and talk to potentially available family members about pitching in once the baby comes. You're really gonna need those extra sets of hands. Record kicks and movements on the part of your baby in your pregnancy journal. You'll be really happy 
that you had it. Hang in there, take really good care of yourself, get as much sleep, rest, exercise as you can, try to stay zen. See you next week on cloudmom.com.